Good morning, everybody. Um, it's 11.15. In 15 minutes, uh, the area before in front of the arena is opening, and there are already a, quite a lot of people waiting, um, because also in 15 minutes, the uh, sale is going to start for next year's Relux EHF Final Four. Um, check out how many people are already standing in line. Less than an hour to go until the first semi-final will be thrown off. Um, what impression do you have of your first Final Four so far? It's just amazing. Uh, so many people and so many atmos a great atmosphere, so much uh, a love for handball. It's very, very, very cool. And the first match hasn't been played yet. What do you think? Uh, I think it's an amazing experience out there. Like, uh, great fun, great games. All of the people who came from all over Europe. Um, so many fans having both teams and the chicks. Just like, I want to be here. I want to enjoy the sport. Of course, if my team wins best, but they know they're going to see great handball. And I think that's the best thing you can see out there. Now, the four teams are really, really, really strong. So it's quite impossible to say which one will take the best. Of course, PSG is very is favorite, but it's not 100% uh, sure that they're going to make a result. That's the, the French girl speaking. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think who will make it to the final? I think Kiel and PSG, but not sure. Not sure. Yeah. I think best for him, because they got like the best fans out there. So that's going to give them lots of energy. And you? Uh, <laughs> German girl speaking yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Tell us Actually, about Kiel. I, <laughs> um, I think it's going to be PSG against Best Prem. Yeah. But yeah, that's we will see. You never know what happens at the final four. The last the last years we already had surprises, so let's see what will happen. Yeah. Follow all the matches and we wish you a lot of fun. Enjoy. Surprise! I mean, PSG came here as one of the probably the heavy favorite for the title, but that was as close as it could get. But Kelsey got it. What do you think? Well, I mean, Nickel Hansen ten goals didn't wasn't enough. That's pretty impressive. Right? Yeah, but Nikola Karabetic didn't make his best match, and we know that when he's a team, it's the same for in the French national team. When he's not making a great match. So, uh, well, the team lose. It reminded me a bit of the match um, last season um, in the quarterfinals against uh, Vesprem when also Mikkel Hansen had a great match, but it was not enough. The, the both team uh, made uh, a really good defense, but uh, uh, Paris' attack wasn't good enough. What also impressed me a lot is you have no idea how loud it is in here. Um, the the Kjelta fans. I have no idea how they do it, but I will be deaf at the end of the weekend. But we, we, we saw that during the Euro in Poland, uh, <laughs> Polish fans are completely crazy. <laughs> we did, and yeah, as you said, fantastic atmosphere. I, I gotta say, at the end of the match, PSG lost, but still went under their corner and got a really big round of applause because they gave it all and the fans gave it all as well so it was a mutual respect for their yeah. performance that's true and now um yeah the other teams are already warming up behind us and yeah let's see who kelsa is going to face uh, tomorrow in the final just enjoy it i guess yeah enjoy it Um, after a hard match and then extra time, what is running through your head when you are having the last minutes and you know you lead by two or three goals? Um, 
just to keep calm, play, you know, play your game. Um, don't do some stupid things. Don't get some two minutes and uh, just uh, sail, sail the win home. What was the deciding thing that in the end, in the extra time, you could have the, this little extra to make it? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, both teams were uh, really tired. I think we started the second half uh, really good, and uh, I, I wanted to finish the game actually earlier. But but I mean, it's Tere Kiel, and they they have amazing team. And uh, uh, but I think in the in the extra time they made some mistakes in in, in offense, and, and our defense was really good. And we we did help the defense, so so I think that's the main reason. Sorry. We, su is over. <laughs> we survived the second semi-final as well, which is a great accomplishment because it was... It was crazy. I don't even have words for it. Uh, no, me neither. I mean, like, it seemed like um, Vesprim was taking it and then suddenly Kill was leading and... Yeah, what am I supposed to say? I just... I was speechless. I, I still am speechless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're cleaning the course, so we don't want to mess with them. Yeah. Um, because at the minute, I think they still like us. So <laughs> <laughs> we hope. Um, oh. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed today. We hope you enjoyed today's matches. And um, yeah, we are all, I think, very, very excited about what is to come tomorrow. Because I can hardly believe that this is like tomorrow can top this. I I don't know. I mean, like if it can, then nothing else would top it. I mean, like, the quality today was just exceptional. Yeah. I am still speechless. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Well, let, let, let's close it like this, because probably we have ended all the words we had. Yeah. So You can still follow um, Majdalene on Snapchat. She is just outside taking some more snaps. Yep. Um, we say goodbye from her too, of course. And, um, yeah, see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.